anybody in this room who would be open to supporting Donald Trump as a third party slash independent candidate for president against Republicans and Democrats? No yep. way. Depends yeah. who the Republicans Positively. Is. Okay. So I want to I want to hear from both sides. The <laughs> only thing I can think of that would force him out is the Republican establishment and the RNC doing something and actually forcing him out. And if that's the case, then I'm voting for Trump as an independent and it's going to teach Republicans a lesson even mm -hmm. if we have another Democrat, which is going to be terrible for our country, but yeah. So for those of you who are who would never who wouldn't support Trump under if he ran as an independent, why would you not support him? Ross Perot. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I mean, absolutely. I don't think we're, we're ready as a country for the three-party thing, and the, the percentages are too much on the Democrat and Republican that I think it would screw everything up. So, no way. You mean you think it would help elect a Democrat? Yes. Absolutely. It absolutely would. Proven. Yep. No, the numbers, I, math, is, the, math doesn't yeah, lie. Yeah, yeah. I think we're stuck in the two-party yeah. system, though, because we don't get these good third-party candidates, and right. I think it would be good for the right. country. We yeah. never would not get yet. anyone this no strong. Way. And, and we, no way. In, in New Hampshire, we've had a, the Libertarian Party, and they had a few good candidates. Mm -hmm. But you just, they, you just can't. Enough. the whole system isn't big enough to yeah. allow them to get any traction. No. Yeah, if yeah. they could get 5% of the popular vote, though, for a third party in a presidential election, then they become a federally recognized, and then they have to be on the ballot in every state. And they don't have to jump through the hoops they do now. Too to scary get... for next year, though. I, <laughs> like, we're not there yet. I I'm think. forward thinking. I've like, got hope for the future. Right, right. And I think that would be awesome someday. But next year, I mean, we, we cannot go down, <laughs> you know, eight year. you know, we just can't. How is it that, 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 that a guy who is so much more financially successful than anybody in this room, how is it that that guy can, can be, also feel to a lot of you like he's an average guy, like, like, one, of, like one of us, as a lot of people put it here? How, does that, how, does that, how do you square those ideas in your mind? Because he's not a politician, and yep. that's he the problem. He earned it. We can all. Yeah. We could have all done the he same thing too. He didn't inherit it. Yeah, he right. Worked hard. He he's an American. <laughs> yeah, he, he succeeded. Your ass off. Absolutely. Let's go. <laughs> and he doesn't. He, he doesn't get the same. You know, health care in Congress that everybody else who's making these laws gets. That's separate mm. from the Obamacare that everybody else in the country gets. He's living by our rules. Yep. Mm. Not the made-up special rules for the protected citizens, politicians. I think he was handed a silver spoon. I think Ron millionaire. He, he started out pretty good. He went to the <laughs> best schools. <laughs> but I think it's not so, it's keeping track of money that sort of puts you in the hierarchy and everything. But success, I'm an extremely successful person in, in my own mind, as we all are. I'm a reasonably successful person when you compare me to Donald Trump, not necessarily financial. But that's what you like about a candidate is, you know, if you think you've done the right things, and he seems to have done the right things, then maybe he is right. And that's, I mean, that's, I think it's human nature. But that's, I think he's a successful person, and, and he's earned it. I'm successful. I earned it. Most of the people here have said they're successful, and they've earned it. He worked. I think we're tired of politics as usual, politicians as usual.